If you've been around the Tailwind ecosystem long enough, you've probably heard about Daisy UI. It's basically a component library similar to Bootstrap, where you kind of have uh, buttons and tabs and cards, all of these components already pre-built with Tailwind, but then it's customizable, it's themable, a whole bunch of cool little nifty things. Well, here's Daisy UI, but for Laravel Livewire. So like I said, Daisy UI is a component library that's really popular for Tailwind CSS. And it basically just has a whole bunch of different components already pre-built for you. So you can have, you know, this accordion or an alert. There's, there's a ton. I'm not going to go through all of them. But I want to take a look at what it would look like to build something like this manually in Laravel Livewire. Um, let's say... The, the easiest way to kind of show this is if we were to take a button and just use Daisy UI, but we wanted to, you know, we wanted to have this button and then we want to also um, have a loading spinner after we call a live wire function. Okay, that's easy enough. Um, you know, we, we can grab the loading spinner and then say, you know, the loading class with Livewire. Let, let, let's let's jump into it. Okay, I'm first going to create a new Laravel project with Livewire and with Breeze. That way we get Tailwind out of the box and we just have to install Daisy UI as a plugin. Let's do that right now. Laravel Breeze, we're going to use the uh, class component with Livewire and Alpine. We'll say yes for dark mode. This doesn't matter too much. All right, let's jump into our uh, Daisy UI directory that we just created. And I'm going to go ahead and create the uh, database. So PHP artisan migrate, we're going to create it. And then I'm going to run npn run dev. Then we'll just go ahead and open this up in our code editor. Okay, let's take a look at the um, dashboard view. And what we're basically going to do is we're going to take this and instead of just showing your logged in, so actually let's take a look at um, what this looks like here. We're going to install this UI in a bit, but let's take a look at this UI dot test. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and register. Okay, you're logged in. So if we wanted to say, hi there, this is where our Daisy UI component will go. Perfect. Now, let's go ahead and create a new live wire component. So that way we have some place to put our Daisy button and then we'll transition into Daisy UI for live wire. Let's take a look. Okay, let's create a new Volt component with our class-based um, live art structure, and we'll start scaffolding out our Daisy button. We're just going to be able to click a button, uh, we'll say just sleep for a little bit, and then show some text on the screen later. So that way we have a loading state that we can kind of play around with within Daisy UI. So we'll just say PHPR is in the make Volt, and we'll say um, Daisy test. Perfect. So let's take a look at that. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and install Daisy UI so that way we're ready to start creating this within, um, within the function itself. Awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to install Daisy UI. So we'll just go ahead and grab this and we'll go ahead and paste it into our um, terminal here. Then we just need to add the Daisy UI plugin to our tailwind.config.js file. Let's go ahead and do that. Perfect. Oh, there we go. And I think we should be good to go. So let's go to our Daisy test. And we'll just go ahead and call a button here. So this should be um, button, which you could, could have class of button primary. There we go. GitHub Cobias helping us out. 
Let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like in the browser. Um, here we go. And of course, we're not calling this LiveWire component yet, so let's go ahead and do that. So in our dashboard, we can go ahead and just call this here. We can go uh, LiveWire Daisy Test. There we go. We got a button. Easy, right? Now, Daisy UI just makes this super simple because we can not only theme it, but we can have specific uh, you know, colors of the button, or if we need it to have a, you know, active or error warning, that kind of thing. So if we, let's just say this should be a, let's say a button secondary, and then we'll have a button. Um, yeah, let's say, let's say button secondary. It sounds like it would be a good, good option. So let's go back into our Daisy test. And we'll say this is secondary instead of primary. And you can see here that we automatically see that it's pink. Perfect. Now, let's take a look at how, how this would look like if we want to click this button, show some text after a little bit, and have a loading spinner be in there. Now, this is where you know Daisy UI is great, but you still have to have all of these little components set up, and that you probably are going to start you know extracting into your own components to make these loading spinners happen and just make them look nice. Well, let's do this manually for now. Um, okay, so let's take a look. We want to say this is, um, we'll say show text. And here we want to, um, let's go ahead and say this is a public text equals hello world. Um, we'll, we'll say we'll say this is blank. So that way we can modify that. So then we'll be this text equals hello world. And then we want to display the text. So we can display the text here. So um, on click, and we can do this with wire click, uh, we want to show text. Now let's go ahead and take a back look. Click there, hello world, perfect refresh, hello world, awesome. Now what if we want to show a loading spinner because this is a database query that we're getting hello world. So let's go ahead and modify that. So we're going to sleep for two seconds and then we'll show hello world. There we go. One, two, hello world. And one, two, hello world. But there's no, because LiveWire is using uh, Ajax requests to go and fetch to the server. We can kind of pull this up right here, actually. Let's see. So if we were to take a look at the network, um, let's go ahead and refresh and we'll clear this. Every time I press this button, you know, we're, we're grabbing the info and then it's waterfalling down. It's, we're receiving information back, which is displaying on the page. Hello world. Okay, now how would we do this with DCY so that we can set up a spinner? Uh, well, LiveWire has a wire loading attribute. So while this is loading, or while anything on the page is loading, and we can actually be specific on this show text function, we're going to change the class. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So we can actually say, you know, wire loading class equals, and then we could have here button. Let's go ahead and take a look at what Daisy UI expects for the button. Let's close this out. So for any kind of loading, um, if we wanted to have loading spinners with this. Okay, so span class loading spinner loading. Okay, so let's just go ahead and take this and it's in the button. So maybe span class, you can see where this kind of gets a little bit more confusing because we want the loading button spinner. You can see here, button, but then we have a span of a class. So we basically um, want to remove this span once uh, once the button's done loading. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So instead of putting this in the wire loading class, let's actually go ahead and put a new span and we can have loading in here. I believe they had it. I believe they had the loading text 
Okay, it's outside the span, so we we won't we won't say we won't even say loading. Let's just go ahead and for now just leave it as a span, so that way we can have the loading spinner inside our button secondary. But we want to remove this if wire loading is activated. Instead of using wire loading class, we can actually just say wire loading. So this span is only going to show up when wire loading. We can actually be specific on the target too, so we can say wire target equals um, show text. And with any luck, this should work. So basically what we're going to do is we say, okay, anytime this loading, we should be at the loading button. Still says button, this says hello world. Okay, now this is a little bit more feedback. Um, but you can see how here, even with you know the 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 wonderful attributes that live wire gives to say that okay hey the span is only showing with wire loading it, it begins to get a little bit tedious especially if you wanted to disable the button you add a little bit more class and then you want to um you know maybe you want to show that extra text well and then you would have to you know create a, a new span this is loading and then we'll say that this is oh wire loading and then uh, for this button text we would have to you know there's probably a bunch of different ways to do this but we would have to remove that button text so that it's not shown when it's loading or we create two buttons that are sitting in the same spot and then it basically changes it out you can see how this would get tricky over time and of course, the ACUI is great because it provides these attributes, it provides these classes, and you're not having to kind of take out your own components and do this all yourself within Tailwind. The great thing is it's still Tailwind under the hood, so you can modify any of this. But here's where I get a little bit excited because Daisy UI meets Laravel Livewire with a component library called Mary UI. So Mary UI basically takes all the good of Days UI that we just saw, all of the components. So everything that Mary UI gives is just Days UI plus a little extra specific for Laravel and Laravel Livewire. So you still have all those same components that you have out of the box, but now you get all of those, the, the, the button function that we tried to create, now you just get that for free. Let's just even pull up a button. Within a button here, you can see that not only do we have things like you know icons, but they're they're specific blade components that we can use within our within our application. So we have the spinners that have targets, and then we don't have to do anything. It it it's just automatically disabled when we're using it. So let's go ahead and modify this. Actually, create a new Volt class component with Mary UI. So let's install it right now. Since we've already installed Breeze, what we're going to do is just um, have a manual install. So we're just going to uh, require Mary. And because we've already installed Daisy UI and all this, we shouldn't need to do any of that. So let's go ahead and jump back into our code. And we'll go ahead and require Mary. Just a heads up, this is created by the incredible Robson Tenorio. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But go ahead and give him a follow and also take a look at his GitHub because he has fantastic um, just repos all over the place. But he, he is the creator behind Mary and he even has some demo applications built specifically with Mary, which is a great way to not only dive your foot into Daisy UI, Mary, but also Livewire and class components itself. So let's jump back into the code. Okay, so I already installed Mary UI. Now let's go ahead and add um, this to our Tailwind config. Perfect. And then we've already done that. We've already have a layout. All of this should be added, so we should be good to go. So now we can just add that button. Let's go ahead and take a look at how that works, you know, button with a spinner. And here we go. Okay, so actually, let's do this. Wire click save. Okay, yeah, let's, let's just jump right in. So now I'm going to go ahead and create a new Volt component with Mary UI, and then we can kind of like see the difference of what that code looks like. So I'm just going to go PHP artisan.
Perfect. Let's take a look at Mary test. And we're just going to copy in this button. And so we're going, let's go ahead and grab some things from the Daisy test. So we're just going to grab um, all of this so that way we can show the text. And we'll just say that this is, what did we say? Just button, perfect. Let's just do that. So button, this is wire click of show text. We'll have icon right of clo. We'll, we'll, we'll keep the we'll keep the icon. We'll keep the spinner. So that's that's out of the box. Um, let's take a look at uh, how this looks like, how this looks in the component. So back to our Laravel again. We should add it so that way we have it ready. Let's take a look at our dashboard, and we're just going to add live wire Mary test, and that should be good to go. Bam! There we go. And now all of a sudden we have you know the same kind of functionality, but we have all of these things given to us for free out of the box. And that's only the 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 tip of the iceberg. So this is a demo specifically of every component within Mary UI and just some neat features within Laravel Livewire as well. So I'll take a good look at here, but I advise you to take a look through the, the repo itself because not only does this give you a great starting base for your next application with using Daisy UI, with using Mary UI. Again, all of this is theme and build, all of this is just Daisy UI. So everything that is in the Daisy UI documentation is applicable to Mary. But this is just specifically built for live wire, so you don't have to do all of that uh, gluing together yourself. So you can see that all of this is is um, using live wire and using live wire volt specifically. So this is live wire three, live wire volt, and then class components. So if you want to uh, look into how a actual code base for a project might look like within Laravel, Laravel, Laravel live wire, and volt, which is those single single um, file components, then I would advise you giving, giving paper a look. So start of the repo. So as you can see here, it has, you know, things like log and being able to create uh, specific forms um, with drop downs, everything like that. And so validation, all of this stuff is a great way to learn Laravel, great way to learn Livewire, and also just a great way to learn Daisy UI too. So Daisy UI is a themable component specifically for Tailwind CSS. It's really popular right now. And overall, it just makes using and getting up to speed within an application that much easier because you're using Tailwind so that you, you know you can modify that in the future. But it's themable, it is customizable, and it just looks nice and gives you a lot of stuff free out of the box. But you pair that with Laravel Livewire, you pair that with something like Mary UI, which is fantastic, then you're just running up to speed within no time. You can kickstart an application and have a button with a loading speed editor that makes it look like this is something you put so much time and effort in, but it's just one line of code that you're given from Mary UI. So check it out. Check out Robson Tenorio's work as well and give Mary UI a, a try and see. tell me what you think. Overall, I love using something like Mary UI to be able to get up to speed, to be able to get an MVP out the door without having to think about the design, without having to think about how a button is gonna look or how a form is supposed to look. Just makes things easy.